I say, God call it noise. Take thou away Even from me. Even if sinners sang the truth about God, you can sing the truth about God, but there's a way that God said he wants to be worshipped in spirit, hold it, and truth. And to worship God in spirit, you must sing in the spirit or with the spirit, meaning your song must be according to the letter. And if the sinner is not baptized, don't have the Holy Ghost, not in the truth, not worshiping God according to what's written, God called his songs, even if the words are right, noise. Noise. Yeah. Greetings and welcome. On December 29, 2022, while at church, the Lord revealed a scripture to Pastor Gino Jennings. As a member of the church sung a song that was integrated with unholy voices. I did not even know that this scripture was even in the Bible. For me it was a moment of woe. God actually on the spot revealed to Pastor Gino Jennings that the song was noise to his ears because of who it was coming from. Even though the words of the song were supposed to give him worship. Let us listen a little. Now, I enjoyed the program, my brother Elijah. While you were singing, the Lord brought a scripture to my mind. Because it was something integrated. Something was mixed. And when God brought me the scripture, that scripture let me know that God wasn't pleased with mixture. Hmm. Now, Bible says this, take away from me. Amos chapter 5 and at verse 23. Listen. Take thou away from take me. Take thou away from me. The noise. The noise of thy songs. Of thine songs. For I will not hear. I will not hear the melody of the thy vows. Melody of thine vows. Elijah, you sang and that was all right. But the moment the sinners on the recording come on, God call it noise. All right, so let us list one of those songs that God would call noise. All right, so this is a song that Beyonce did with Michelle Williams. Let us listen to this song a, a little. This would be a song that God will call noise. To the ear it might sound beautiful, but based on who it is coming from, these unholy people, God will call it noise. Right. Look at Michelle Williams. Look at that guy that has the knobs in his ears. Look at how she's dressed. Now, look at the, the, the members and the, the sisters that are sitting in the congregation that Pastor Gina Jennings is preaching to. How they are dressed. How their heads are covered. How their bodies are covered. There's a scripture that speaks that a, a woman is not supposed to wear the pants. And she's in pants. So this is a song that is meant to give God worship. But to God, this is noise to his ears based on the scripture that Pastor Gina Jennings has revealed. How many of these artists are out there that are singing songs that to God it's noise to his ears, though it sounds beautiful to us, it is noise to God's ears. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's listen back to Pastor Gino.
I said, God call it no. Take thou away Even from me. Even if sinners sang the truth about God. You can sing the truth about God, but there's a way that God said he wants to be worshipped in spirit, hold it, and truth. And to worship God in spirit, you must sing in the spirit or with the spirit, meaning your song must be according to the letter. And if the sinner is not baptized, don't have the Holy Ghost, not in the truth, not worshiping God according to what's written, God called his songs, even if the words are right, noise. Noise. But you can't have no sinners back in the church. Are you listening? All right, so what also comes to mind is the recent Grammy. Kirk Franklin and Chandler Moore and all the other artists from Maverick City were at the Grammy while Sam Smith sung a song to Satan. And he was also dressed in Satanic costumes. And Kirk Franklin, they didn't walk out. They sat right in there waiting to collect their Grammy. They went on that stage to collect their Grammy. They didn't even mention anything about repentance. And they just collected their Grammy and said that this is the start of things. I'm going to show that clip also. But their songs also, Kirk Franklin's songs also, Chandler Moore. Maybe these songs are noise to God as well. Are these guys singing with the Spirit, as Pastor Gina Jennings mentioned? Are their lives lined up according to the Spirit, which is the Bible, as Pastor Gina Jennings said? Are their songs noise to God when it comes from them? Well, let's even look at let's let's look at them at the Grammy. Let us first look a little at Sam Simmons' performance. So this is some Simit at the Grammy in the satanic costume. Look at them. And Kirk Franklin and Chandler Moore and all the Maverick City artists sat through this. And we are supposed to be promoting God in gospel. And they didn't walk out. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So this is so this is Kirk Franklin and Maverick City walking up to collect their award at the Grammy. This is crazy. Uh, Kerr Franklin so, right there. Like so Kerr Franklin thank Maverick City Music. And there's another video that I will show where he spoke about the Grammy and he mentioned nothing about God, nothing about Sam Simmons' satanic performance. This man just thank Maverick City. He has not said anything about God all now. So this is the future according to Kerr Franklin. He thanked Maverick City. He did not thank God. He did not mention, they did not mention repentance, they didn't mention anything. This is where, this is when they are supposed to take this opportunity to stand for God, no matter what comes after. They have thousands of those people sitting in that crowd that they could have taken the opportunities to stand up for God. And don't go back to any more Grammy, but stand for God. Let's listen to Pastor Gina Jennings again. <laughs> Sinners cannot back the church. The Bible says, Take thou away from me you see, the I noise. I don't believe nothing. I know you didn't see that. That's why you got to have an overseer. I didn't see that. I, I didn't even know that that scripture was in the Bible. That was mind-blowing for me. I was sitting there minding my business. <laughs> hey, Amen. I wasn't even thinking about it. I, just, I wouldn't think about the scripture at all. Moment the mother voices came over the speaker, I'm looking for some of our folk. Right. 
Spirit of God whispered this scripture to me. Take thou away from me the noise. Right then, he let me know. I don't want to hear that. Why? He says, holiness. I hope you guys are listening. God whispered that scripture to him while the gentleman was singing the song, being backed by the voices from some other groups or whatever. So his voice was fine. But the backing and God opened passage in the Genesis to hear that scripture. God let him know how he feels about that performance, even though that, that song was supposed to be giving God worship. I hope you are paying attention, you know. I hope you are paying attention. Without. And they are not holy people. God gave no joy, no pleasure out of anything that's not holy. That's right. I want to say, you know what, I got to get out of there. That man is too strict. I am one who's going to be guided by that Bible till I die. That's how I got here. That's right. And God prospered the church. That's right. Our refusal of deviating from that Bible. I refuse it. That's right. Yeah, Amen. Sometimes God deal with me in the most unlikely time to others. Yeah. Amen. Spirit, I can hear the Spirit talking to me while I was sitting there. That's why I called the wind and told him, bring your chair back here. I wanted to tell him what the Lord. That's an apostle. That's a true apostle. All right? And note that Pastor Gina Jennings doesn't go around and boast that he's an apostle. Note the title that comes up on his video says Pastor Gina Jennings. He does not run around boasting that he's an apostle, even though he is a true apostle. <laughs> Lord told me, he, he looked. Huh? That's right. <laughs> That's right. He said, what? That's right. God says, take thou away from me. No, have it. Take thou away from me. Be a part of it. Take thou away from me. Why you think I won't ever have a false church as a guest choir in here? Why you think I won't have a man in here preaching who beliefs differ from the Bible? When apostle says that God said, he means it from the bottom of his heart. He does not say God said if God did not say. If you notice, he also says that he heard from God 40 years ago when God gave him his vision. He's not going around pretending like these men that are professing to be getting these revelations from God on the spot. So when Pastor Gina Jennings comes out and said that the voice of God appeared to him out of the middle of nowhere, it is indeed the voice of God. Because every inch of wish up must be backed up, certified, justified Hallelujah. with that Bible. That's right. The Lord said, sang with, with the Spirit. The Spirit. With the Spirit. Sang with the understanding. Well, the question is, what should I understand? Right. I should understand what the Spirit say to the church. That's right. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'm determined to lead you right. That's right. I don't care if something make you feel good. That don't mean nothing to God. No. This is all about preparing to meet God. That's right. My job is to lead you into the kingdom of God through preaching. That's right. And whenever God deal with me about anything touching the church, and I'm going to deal with you. Amen. 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 He that can receive this age, 
Let him receive. Let him. All right, thank you, Apostle. So, there you have it. Not all these persons out there that are singing these songs to God, God is receiving their worship. To God, it is noise to Him. Watch how you carry yourselves. So, do you carry yourself in an unholy way or do you carry yourself in a holy way? How do you dress? All right? Are you living life according to the Spirit, which is the Word of God? The teachings of God. Are you baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Are you striving to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Are truly filled with the Holy Spirit? How is your life? Are you wearing earrings and tattoos and getting you tattoos and all of these things? Are you living a holy life? Are you thinking that you are giving God praise when to Him it is noise? If you are watching this channel for the first time or not, I recommend that you hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell so that you can be notified when we release these life-changing videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye. You offended Jesus and blessed is he. That's not offended him. Don't you, Pastor Jenny, don't you think that's the wrong time, brother, when God deal with me is always the right time? Oh, yeah.